Killymoon Castle in Cookstown was built in 1671, but had to be rebuilt after a fire in 1801. It was the first castle designed in Ireland by John Nash, who was instrumental in the creation of Buckingham Palace. It's been owned by the Coulter family for a century, and the current generation is determined to preserve it from decay, as well as opening it up to a wider range of visitors. It features round and square towers, as well as Regency Gothic interiors. Killingwood Castle was first built in the 1600s on the invitation of Alan Cook, who set up Cookstown. They built two castles at that time, Ballinina Castle in Cookstown and Killingwood Castle. And it was designed by John Nash, the famous architect. Then the family, after the Stuart family left here in 1852, there was Coopers and Boltons and Macaras that lived here. And 1943, the American soldiers moved in. And recently we've started a new GI room, so we have, which tells the story about them being here. Uh, well, the castle became in my husband's family back in the beginning of the 1900s. We married in the 70s and moved in here and worked on the castle and restored part of it, so we did. And Godfrey's uncle Tommy lived in the castle as well at that time. Killymoon is part of the heritage of Cookstown and as I say if we had left it just you know that roof would have been down by now and there would have been nobody in this end of the castle. It needs people in it to keep it alive. When we came here in the 70s we restored the end that we lived in which is the more the older end of the castle. 1989 or so unfortunately there was a bomb up on the golf course and it damaged a lot of the cupola and the inside of the castle. We had to start to look for funding to fix that so we had and then we started and we done one of the big libraries we restored it there was trees growing in it so there was and then back in uh, 2014 we started to restore the cupola here in the centre of the building so we try and put on a tour once a month so we do especially from we've opened the GI room we're trying to do a tour and we've two tour guides who are trained and they do it better than what I do it but anyway and then in 2016 we opened the tea room in the spring of that right through the Thursday Friday and Saturday it certainly wasn't easy, so it wasn't, as I say, we had applied quite a few times and were rejected because of it being a private building. And eventually we did get help then from NIEA, which were very good, and we worked with Cookstown Council. And recently we've been working with the Tourist Board and Enhance the Giant Spirit. So grandchildren get a duster, they get a polishing cloth, and they're all very good with things like that. It's a family affair, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's important because Killymoon is part of the heritage of Cookstown and as I say, if we had left it just, you know, that roof would have been down by now and there'd have been nobody in this end of the castle and just whenever you saw something like 52 people in this morning there and the castle had been used and been used for, you know, different functions and things like that, it brings it to life again, so it does and it needs, it needs people in it to keep it alive. We've had different people visit from all over the world, from everywhere actually, you know, up until last year, COVID did hit us hard and we had it close. But before that, we were getting groups coming in from south of Ireland, from England as well. Well, we hope to go ahead. We'd like to open up the cellars and, and maybe have tours down in there and bring people that they could see the writing in the walls and go through that and do wee workshops. And we'd like to do a lot of things like that, but just take time. But we're lucky we've got maybe as far as we have, so 